Hello everyone, welcome to Barca News. It is July 23rd, 2024 and Real Madrid have filed an official complaint for misconduct against Javier Tebas. Also, the club have secured the signing of Pau Victor and finally PSG have entered the race for Nico Williams. We have a lot to discuss, so let's begin. Welcome to the channel, my name is Mo and before we begin with the news just a quick reminder to make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and drop a comment, all of this helps this channel continue to grow. Also if you are looking for any Barcelona jerseys or merchandise or jerseys from any clubs or international teams make sure you head to Goal Kits, Fanatics, Skip Bag, you have plenty of options there. If you are looking to place any sports bets make sure you head to Bet Us where you can place bets not only on Barcelona matches but on all sporting events from around the world. All the links are down below in the description. Now I'll begin this video with the news that the Spanish Administrative Tribunal for Sport or TAD, TAD as it's known by its Spanish initials, have launched an investigation and opened a case against La Liga's president Javier Tebas. Now the reason that TAD has opened a case against Javier Tebas is a result of a complaint by Real Madrid that Madrid submitted for misconduct against Javier Tebas and Natad have decided to investigate that complaint lost by Real Madrid and this complaint is or is a result of the CVC fund and the meeting that Javier Tebas called up in order to discuss that CVC deal. Now in case you don't know what the CVC deal is one of the first things I discussed here on my channel when I first opened the channel two years ago but in case you don't know or you, you don't recall but the CVC deal was a deal that Javier Tebas was able to negotiate on behalf of La Liga where the CVC capital partners agreed to pump 2 billion euros into La Liga in exchange for 10% of TV rights of all the clubs that participated for a total length of 50 years. So to simplify all, uh, all, of, all of what I just said, if you were a club in the first or second divisions of La Liga and you agreed to this deal, you were agreeing to sell 10% of your TV rights to the CVC fund for a period of 50 years. In exchange, you would get a portion of the 2 billion euro cash that the CVC fund agreed to pump directly into La Liga. Now, as some of you might recall, Barcelona opted out of this deal. They thought that 50 years was too long and that it wasn't too much money. So Barcelona ended up negotiating their own deals, which became known as the economic levers, where Barcelona sold some of their assets for a much shorter period of time and for a lot more money than the CVC deal. Well, this complaint from Real Madrid comes as a result of one of the meetings that Javier Tebas called. Javier Tebas called a meeting for all the clubs in the first and second divisions of La Liga in order to ratify the CVC deal. And per the rules, he was supposed to call the meeting, you know, with 10 day warning. Instead, he did it with eight day warning. So two days less than what he was supposed to uh, give the clubs. And as a result, Real Madrid are saying that that's why they weren't able to attend the meeting because they were given eight day notice instead of a 10 day notice. And as a result, Real Madrid have filed this complaint of misconduct against Javier Tebas, which the TAD have now officially opened the case against Javier Tebas. And if Tebas is found guilty, he will be suspended from his post as president of La Liga. How long will that suspension be? We don't know. It will all depend on the ruling. Now, I think this is a pretty silly case, but it does highlight one thing, and that is how powerful Florentino Perez is not only in La Liga, but in the Sp in the entire country of Spain and if you know anything about Spanish politics you know how powerful Florentino Perez is if he wants something done all he has to say say the word and that gets done which shows how silly people are who say oh Barcelona are favored oh Barcelona were bribing referees oh Barcelona were you know fixing matches when anybody with just a little bit of knowledge of Spanish politics knows how powerful Florentino is and how things always go his way and this is a perfect example because we've had some pretty egregious cases uh, cases in La Liga for example with Barcelona when Javier Tebas gave false evidence to the prosecutor's office so they can open the Negreta case against Barcelona nobody did anything we had 
Fede Valverde punching Baena in the face. Police got involved. Nothing happened. Some pretty serious cases where nothing happens, but God forbid Javier Tebas gives orders a meeting within eight days instead of ten, and everybody has to jump up, open investigation, and all hell is breaks loose because Florentino Perez said so. Anyways, on to good news because Barcelona have secured the signing of Pau Victor. Now the 22-year-old center forward spent last season on loan with Barca Athletic where he had a marvelous season. He scored 20 goals, breaking the record of Ferran Jugla of 19 goals that was set two seasons ago. He finished the season as the top scorer of the Primera División or the third division that Barca Athletic currently play in. And as a result of his impressive performance, Barcelona decided to sign him. He had an option to buy worth 3 million euros. However, Barcelona were not able to activate it because, you know, the financial situation of the club. And as a result, that option to buy expired on June 30th. So Barcelona were then forced to begin negotiations with Girona for the signing of Pau Victor, which were facilitated by the fact that Pau Victor wanted to stay in Barcelona. Barcelona wanted him. So Girona were open to the sale of the player, which for a while, the negotiations got, uh, got stuck a little bit because Barcelona found out through the rules that they can no longer register Pau Victor as a Barca Athletic player. They would have to register him as a first team player. So they had to first figure out their financial fair play before they can do anything. And well, it seems like they have because Barcelona have officially reached an agreement with Girona for the signing of Pau Victor. It's reported that the operation will cost a little bit north of 3 million euros, which was the value of the release clause, or I'm sorry, of the option to buy. So great, great news. Pau Victor will become a Barcelona player. He will, of course, participate in the preseason under Hansi Flick. He's a player that's highly valued by Barcelona, not only for his goal scoring abilities, but also because he's a flexible attacker. Not only is he a center forward, but he can also play on both wings. So who knows if Barcelona end up signing Nico Williams, maybe Pau Victor could be that substitute for both Lamine and Nico Williams on both wings. And maybe who knows, even the substitute for Robert Lewandowski. Now, speaking of Nico Williams, let's talk about the Athletic Club de Bilbao player because it's reported that PSG have entered the race for Nico. Now, media sources in Madrid, and notice how I emphasize media sources in Madrid. So I would take this with a little bit of skepticism or with a grain of salt because media sources in Madrid are saying that the Premier League teams are not gonna be going after Nico Williams. They know that the player would prefer to stay in La Liga, either uh, you know, at Atletico Club de Bilbao or in Barcelona, but they're now saying that PSG have entered the race for the player, that they're willing to pay his release clause cash because they need to sub to replace Kylian Mbappé, who's officially now a Real Madrid player. Now, Barcelona are not worried about this news. They're very confident that Nico Williams will sign for the club. Nico Williams has expressed his interest of playing for Barcelona directly to the club. The club won Nico Williams. They've already negotiated with his agents. They've, uh, with his agent. They've already sent him a draft of the contract and they're just awaiting the approval of the player. Once Nico Williams gets the green light, then Barcelona will approach Athletic Club de Bilbao in order to pay that release clause and make Nico Williams Barcelona's left winger. Now, speaking of Athletic Club de Bilbao, it is getting a little bit nasty there. It's a media war right now against Barcelona, trying to make Barcelona look bad, that they, you know, they come and they're trying to steal the players and how dare Nico Williams even think about going to Barcelona. It's getting pretty nasty out there, which is pretty ironic because the next bit of news not only is ironic, but it's also good news to Barcelona because even though Athletic Club de Bilbao are saying that they're confident Nico Williams is going to stay, they have now reach an agreement to sign Robert Navarro, who's a left winger at Real Sociedad. In fact, he's a former Barcelona Academy player. The 22-year-old winger came up through the Barcelona Academy. He's currently at Real Sociedad. His contract expires in 2025. He's not going to renew his contract with Real Sociedad. As such, Athletic Club de Bilbao have been negotiating with him. And it seems like they have reached an agreement to sign Robert Navarro. Which begs the question, if Atletico Club de Bilbao are really that confident that Nico Williams is going to stay at their club, why are they signing another left winger? 
Also, it highlights their hypocrisy because they're saying, you know, they're talking all this crap about Barcelona coming to take Nico Williams, like they're doing something illegal, even though that's literally how the market works. You buy players, you sell players. Where else are you going to get players? Players don't grow on trees. When you sign them, you sign them from other clubs. But anyways, here's Atletico Club de Bilbao complaining about Barcelona trying to take one of their players, and yet that's exactly what they do. Sure, but Atletico Club de Bilbao have this philosophy of only signing players who are from Basque country, who are Basque, but nonetheless, they are always consistently taking players, ravishing other academies of other clubs in the region, taking players from other clubs in the region. That's the business. That's exactly what they do. Why are they complaining that Barcelona is trying to sign one of their players? Who, well, let's be honest, did they really think they were going to hold on to Nico Williams his whole life? Anyways, that is all the news for this video. I will be uploading another video shortly. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, drop a comment, and as always, peace, Garza.